What is going on guys? It's Bucky and welcome to your 28th Python tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you guys about default parameters in your functions. So a default parameter is pretty much just that. It has a parameter but instead of you having to enter it, it already has a default value just in case uh, the user forgets to enter it or something like that. So the first thing we're going to need to do is create a function and I'm going to name my name in a uh, Hopefully name is in the keyword. So let's have uh, two parameters in our name. A first part of the name and last. And let's go ahead and put a colon after that. And now we have to print out our instructions for the function. So in this function I just want to print out two strings. And the strings are of course going to be what values they take. The first name and the last name. So right now we have a function that prints out the first and last name and it's called name. So let's see if this works. Name, we have to supply it with two parameters, Bucky, Roberts, don't forget your um, uh, apostrophes or whatever it's called. And there you go. So this is um, pretty much a basic function. It takes uh, two parameters, first, which is Bucky, last, which is Roberts, and prints them out right after each other, first, then last. But what if we want to have a function that already had default values in it? Say we wanted to populate a database or something, and if you entered a blank value, it would ruin it. So we want to make sure something was in there all the time. What we would need to do is add something called default parameters. And what this does is automatically supply a value, even if you don't supply a value in your function. Now I'll show you guys. It sounds complicated, but I promise you'll understand by the end. Let's go ahead and remake this function called name but instead of first we want to put a value for first right now so let's go ahead and put first equals Tom already and last equals Smith now let's go ahead and create the same exact function print uh, percent s percent s um, modulus what values is it going to take again the first and the last one not last e now whenever we call our name function by default as you can see you get Tom Smith but if you're saying alright that deletes the purpose or uh, defeats the purpose I mean how can we enter our name now well you can also use it to override say you wanted to enter your name like you did before Bucky and Roberts you now have Bucky Roberts so this is just a safety which if you don't enter anything you get a value but you really want the user to enter a value and then it spits out your uh, desired result and you can also mix and match say name with parentheses and put only one in here Bucky and you get Bucky Smith and you could also do this name and you can put last last is equal to Roberts and you can get Tom Roberts so again, if the user only enters one or the other or both of the values, you get your desired result. But just in case they don't, you always have a default value right there. So that is how you add defaults in parameters. And like I said, it's most useful when you're writing a program or filling a database where if you have a null or empty value, it's going to throw everything off. So that is one case where you would use that. So uh, that's your quick tutorial on default parameters and how to use default values and also how to change one value or the other. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next tutorial.